In this exercise, we will be performing a structural analysis on a bike rank. Before proceeding with this analysis, let's understand the intention behind performing it. A structural analysis helps to evaluate structural displacements, stresses, strains and forces on components and assemblies. The force exerted by the bicycle rider on the pedal will get transmitted to the sprocket chain mechanism through the bike crank. This will generate some stresses in the crank and we would like to know whether these stresses are within acceptable limit of the design or not. Additionally, we will also make changes to the design of the bike rank and find out which will be the design that will generate lower stresses and displacements. So, let's get started. Let's start our analysis of the bike crank model. Open a new session of Discovery. Close the welcome page. Click the drop down arrow next to the browse button and select open geometry file. Navigate to the folder where the file is saved and open it. The default mode in which Discovery opens any new geometry is the explore mode. By default, structural steel material is assigned to the imported model. Bike cranks are often made of aluminum alloys, so let's change the material. Double click on the structural steel material from the physics tree. This will open the materials group in the heads up display. From the materials drop down list, select aluminum alloy, route 6061T6. Now let's first perform a model analysis on this bike crank to determine its mode shapes. Before that, let's quickly understand what a model analysis is. Model analysis helps to determine natural frequencies and mode shapes. It provides information on how the structure will vibrate and at what natural frequencies the structure will resonate. If a load acts on a body periodically at the body's natural frequency, resonance will occur and the body will eventually break apart. These natural frequencies are of paramount importance in various engineering fields. For example, structural engineers need to calculate the natural frequencies of buildings so that the seismic waves produced during earthquakes do not match the natural frequencies of the buildings. You can then design your structure to avoid resonant frequencies or to vibrate at a specific frequency. Now that we know what modal analysis is, let's carry it out on this bike rank. Go to the simulation tab and click natural frequency. This will enable the modal analysis. As you know, the bike crank is fixed to the sprocket wheel at one end and the other end is connected to the pedal. So let's fix the bike crank at one end to perform the modal analysis. In this model, the square shaped hole is the one which gets fitted on the sprocket wheel. Thus, we will fix this hole. In the simulation tab, click the drop down button located below structural simulation and select support. Select the four faces representing the square shaped hole. We will leave the support type as fixed and accept the selection. The bike crank is now fixed at one end and we are now ready to perform a modal analysis. Go to the results arc and click the solve button. You will immediately start to see the displacement results for the first six modes by default. The simulation is proceeding as the white mark keeps rotating on the solution information display or SID. Once that stops, 
and the hexagon edges are green, the solution is converged, and the results are ready for our analysis. If you look at the displacement magnitude, the maximum value will surprise you. The bike crank is about 20 cm in length, whereas its displacement is in meter. In model analysis, the displacement values don't have any real significance. Only the mod shapes and its frequencies are of interest. So we will ignore the displacement values and look at the deformed shape. Click on the deformation button to view the deformation. Click the animation button. This will play back the displacement and show how the body is getting deformed from its original shape. You can also look at the frequency of this mode shape. If you click the three vertical dots, you can see the frequencies of the first six mode shapes. Clicking on any mode shape will update the results for that shape. For example, let's click on the second mode. You can now see the shape deformation for this mode. If you notice, the range of natural frequencies is between about 200 Hz and 4000 Hz. If we consider a cyclist pedaling at 120 RPMs, or revolutions per minute, then its corresponding frequency comes out to be 2 Hz. Thus, the operating frequency is much lower as compared to the natural frequencies, and we can say that there is no risk of resonance. Save the case. This completes our modal analysis on the bike rank.